how can we convert them into standard class intervals? Let's see. Okay. So the topic is adjusting adjusting the CIs or the class intervals. So how do we adjust the class intervals? The first defect or the first way can be when the lower limit not lower limit of previous class is not equal to upper limit of so the lower limit of class is not equal to the upper limit of previous class so let's see what I'm trying to convey from here so here uh, let's consider an example 10 to 18 20 to let's say 28 then we have 30 to 38 let's suppose the class intervals are like this now how can I adjust the class intervals to make it a regular class interval to make it a regular data how what can I do now one thing which I can do is I can expand this class intervals in such a way that this whole data becomes regular now how will I do that I will make it 9 and the other one I will make it 19 similarly I will make it 19 and the other one I will make it as 29 this is 29 to 39 so I can mold this data like this 9 to 19 19 to 29 and 29 to 39 so what I am doing here is I am subtracting something from the lower limit I am adding something to the to the upper limit right so this is 10 minus 1 and 18 plus 1. Now what to subtract and what to add? That's a, that is the question. Now I have 18 over here and 20 over here. So you must see the difference of these two. So you see the difference between upper limit of previous class and lower limit lower limit of class minus the upper limit of previous class and you divide by 2. And if you divide by 2, you will get a numerical value and that value you have to add here and you have to subtract from the lower limit. And then we can adjust this data like this. So let's see one more example. That example will help you understand this concept more. 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39. So how will I do this? By subtracting these two. So 20 minus 19 by 2 is equal to 0.5. So I will subtract 0.5 from here. I will add 0.5 over here. So this will be 9.5 to 19.5, 19.5 to 29.5, and 29.5 to 39.5. So now this data is regular. Now, guys, I told you again. I'm going to ask which entry will include which of the class will which will include 19.5. So you know 19.5 will be included in this class so 19.5 is included in this class so the lower limit is always included in a class and the upper limit is not included in the class right so the second way of making the data standard is by adjusting the frequencies now what do I mean by adjusting the frequency let's find out now let's suppose the data is like this 0 say 10 10 to 30 then I have 30 to 60 right and here this is the class interval frequencies are given as 5 10 and 30 so you have to tell me if the frequencies are like this how to adjust the frequencies now by see the class intervals are not regular can you tell me what is the width of this class in this case class width is equal to a class side is equal to 10 in this case the class size is equal to 20 in this case the class width of class size is equal to 30 so in this case you can see that the class widths are not constant so how to make the frequencies how according to the class widths so that is the question that is the main question now see the minimum width the minimum width here is 10 only and we will try to make the frequencies according to the minimum width just understand the concept carefully now assume that this 10 to 20 this is the first class interval I will try to make the second class interval like the, th the first class interval how I can do that 
I can divide this into two parts 10 to 20 and 20 to 30 I know the frequencies frequencies were written as 5 here it was 10 and here it is 30 and I can divide this into three parts which are the first one is 30 to 40 second one is 40 to 50 and the third one is 50 to 60 right so can you tell me if I divide this into two parts what will be the adjusted frequency the adjusted frequency will be 5 and 5 and the adjusted frequency will be here 10 10 and 10 so what I'm trying to do here is I'm dividing this bigger class widths into the smaller or the least class widths right and I'm adjusting the frequencies accordingly so you can write this as the formula of adjusting frequency adjusted frequency this will be equal to the class size or class width divided by the least sorry the least class size divided by the class size right this is the least class size now the formula can become tricky divide by class size into frequency so don't understand this concept by formula this formula is mentioned right in a lot of places this is also referred to as minimum width okay I have uh, wrote it down in notes minimum width I note it down from a book so the book has also mentioned this as minimum width but you can also write it as least class size now you can see that the least class size or least class width is 10 here and the class size of this particular class let's say we have 20 over here and the frequency is 10 so we can see that this ratio will become half here and this ratio will become 1 by 3rd here and we can multiply this by frequency so the adjusting frequency with the help of formula here will be equal to the least class size is 10 divided by 20 multiplied by the frequency which is 10 so this is equal to 5 and in this case this will be equal to 10 upon 30 into 30 which is equal to 10 so the adjusted frequencies are adjusted frequencies are 5 5 and 10 now why do we get this as 5 5 and 10 I will explain you this concept in the case of histograms when we try to graphically represent this data I will explain you all these 